I think like when you have a huge following, right? I know even with myself, like as I've elevated, as I'm getting, you know, bigger and more followers and people are resonating more with me, you tend to get more haters too along the way. Like you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, no. You know what I mean? So how do you deal with that? Because, you know, we spoke about imposter syndrome before, right? Everyone's got their own insecurities, whether it's online or offline. But like, how, how does Jesse Lee deal with haters? Because I'm sure like you've done such amazing things in your life. And it's, you know, when you get to the top, it's just something I think that you're going to get no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're Jay-Z, you're going to get it. Um, so the first thing I would encourage anybody to do that is getting any hate from people is I would go and I would Google the name of anybody you admire. Like this is a for real assignment. If you're somebody who is currently getting hate from, from anybody, I just want you to Google your favorite person. Maybe you're like, I don't know, who's your favorite person? Right now, you. Oh, come on. Well, it would work for me right now. So go, 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 baby. Google Jesse Lee. Port. You'll find out that I kill people. I really <laughs> diabetic. I fat shame left and right. If you are not uh, ready for a 15 hour hike, then you're going straight down the murder hole. Like it's really nuts. Um, <laughs> well, okay. So you could use me as an example, but like Google anyone. Google Beyonce. Yes. Google, I don't know who people love. Google Rihanna right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who's like people's Tom Brady, you know, Google Brady. Yeah. anybody. Okay. The fact of the matter is if you are doing great things in this world, it comes with the hate. It comes with the weird articles and videos and, and the cost and it's, people are watching. It just is what it is. Now it's amazing because that's this this is as you progress in business and success you realize that when people say all publicity is good publicity they really mean it now there's some crazy stuff to it um i'll tell you the death threats are very weird um the really hateful comments uh i'm, I'm a big fan of especially as you start to, to scale stuff and it doesn't even have to be a big business if you know that you're getting crazy hate and you know that you mentally can't handle seeing it give the phone to your best friend your partner your you know your next door neighbor i don't care and just say hey can you please delete all the comments that say anything great i can't look at it like it's going to be on just every post every take every post because you don't need to see it you don't like you can exercise your right to the vip block party that's what i call it right let me block go ahead block that right i don't you don't you don't need to give yes. people access to you um but i will i do want to say something i think especially for women we need to do a better job of advocating for women because uh, yes i agree couldn't agree more yeah because like what i see more than anything is it's not men talking I'll, i can speak for myself for this it's not men talking badly about me yes women it's women yep. tearing me apart it's it's me it's me not doing a good enough job for people right it's me not being not making them happy it's like you're never gonna be good enough for somebody you're just not good enough for so Absolutely. like of an advocate for women if you're a woman let's be somebody who stands up for people instead of tears them down let's be somebody who questions when somebody when you see a negative video you go wait a minute what like oh, oh, that's not right voice it exactly that doesn't, that doesn't sound like her that doesn't sound like what like i just i'm so much more of a i would rather see somebody in positive light a million times before I see them in some kind of negative light. And if I've learned anything from some of my hate experiences, it's that the things you think you know about somebody that you've never met are mm -hmm. probably wildly inaccurate. You can read every article in planet Earth about Megan Fox, I don't know if it's popped in my head, right? And you still don't know her. And the other the last thing I'll say about it is like, and this just goes back to being kind, but we're all human. So when you're writing hate comments or you're making hate videos or you're writing hate articles or you're doing hate TikToks or whatever, it's still a human being, no matter how Absolutely. you look at it. And nobody's full personality should be a bully. And that's what I'm seeing more and more on the internet these days. It's like, can you get personality? Like it's your only personality trait is you're a bully. So um, I'll just say it comes with comes with the territory of success. Um, women, if you're going through it, feel free to reach out to me because I will tell you, um, you just gotta stick together. And I will also tell you, they, they, they look, nobody hates from up here, okay? Like you're never gonna see um, Oprah Winfrey do a hate video about Jesse Lee. Okay, not because she's Oprah, but just because that woman's a bubble, you know. She don't got time to talk about little peons.
around me, right? Like you're not going to see someone doing great things, taking their energy and their time to tear people down. So you just need to remember that. You remember who you are, the mission you're on. And then I'll say one more thing that um, like haters won't expect me to say, but sometimes in what people are saying, there's a very, very small piece of truth right? Like a teeny tiny itty bitty minuscule, like you could be better at being more inclusive. You could use better language. You were a little bit nasty in that one thing you said. Yeah. You did over embellish that little thing, maybe like a little bit too much. So like maybe next time you don't take it so far. Um, but it doesn't mean change who you are um, entirely. And that's the thing that I think worries me the most about women that are getting bullied on the internet and the hate that they're getting is I think it shuts us down. Men, it doesn't shut them down so much. They go, ha, 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 ha. let me double down on this. Ha, ha, ha. Um, and women were kind of just like, oh God, but she thinks that my my hair is the wrong color for me. I'm never going to make a video. The antagonists that are lost, all of us, 